Hello, I'm Debbie Crawford, and we were here with Steve Zimmer. You are with who, Steve? Well, I'm here representing Imaginarium Convention in its third year this year. Oh my goodness. Now, Imaginarium doesn't really tell you what this event is about, so you want to tell everybody what the event really is? I sure will. It's a convention that's all about creative writing. And when I say that, I mean all genres. We're talking mystery, we're talking romance, we're talking fantasy, science fiction, everything. And not only that, we're also talking about writing in terms of screenwriting for movies. Right. We're talking about writing for game design, which would lead to your video games and things like that, and comic creators. So when we mean when we talk writing, it's it's a, a the broad, whole thing. broad picture. And then you're going to have um, different people there teaching small courses. Oh yes, all During three days. Events. It's content rich. I mean, it has all the content of a major writers conference. It's got over a hundred panels and probably about 20, 25 workshops oh, that take gosh. place through the three day period. And they cover everything from yeah. from the craft of writing to all the genres to how to you know how to pub get published, uh, things about blogging. I mean, we cover so I mean cover every topic you can possibly imagine. And how many publishing companies are going to be at this event? Uh, there's going to be quite a few. Um, I need to check on, on our latest count, um, yes. but, we, but we definitely have I know there's at least six that are taking um, pitch sessions at That's the event lot. six that are taking actual pit, uh, actual formal scheduled pitch sessions at yes. the event uh, but there's many more than that that are in attendance or have representatives attending and uh, so we do have a, a nice diverse group of publishers uh, that will be present now who are the people you're really targeting that you want them to come to this event is there anyone specific or is this a, a wide group of well, the thing about this is, is that it ha does have a lot of great programming content, but it also has a lot of the fun stuff. I mean, we have a film festival, we have a full-blown expo, and that's right. open to the general public for free. And we also have things like um, gaming, we have a masquerade and costume contest, we have live entertainment, including like a magician and a hypnotist, and Sounds cool. all kinds of fun stuff. So, honestly, I mean, I mean, people, readers, people from the general public, people that like right. books and movies, I mean, they would have a lot of fun at it, but at the same time, it's also very targeted to writers, filmmakers, gaming people, comic creators, artists, right. cre creative folks. So people that want to actually learn to write can go to this. Mm -hmm. If you're already writing a book and you want to know how to publish it or how to make it better, you can go to this. You all have also have people that will edit things for them. Oh, we have yeah. many amazing pro editors that are yes. going to be there. They'll be on panels. They'll be easy to meet and talk to. Right. Um, the thing about our guests that's wonderful is they're very easy to approach. I mean, people that do not have any books published or anything, right. well, no problem talking to people that have actually done editing work for like New York Times bestselling authors. Oh. It's a really nice environment. The kind of guests we have are really approachable. So, right. so people can get their questions answered. And I know a couple of them that love red ink. So, oh yes, yeah, <laughs> most editors do. <laughs> I, I don't like red ink, but these guys love to get a hold of a book and make it look better. So if mm -hmm. you if you have all that yeah. red ink in your novel, it's not being mean or hateful. Yeah, to yeah it's not being no. Yeah. They're just constructive. Trying to, yes, yeah. constructive. Yeah. They're trying to make it better for you and and the reader yeah. when they buy your book. So I, I just get tickled when somebody says, "I can't wait to get my red ink pen out." Oh yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Those editors are fond of that. <laughs> yeah, they do love sure. that, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> so now, the dates of this event are? They're October the 7th through October the 9th. And that's a Friday through a Sunday. Friday through a Sunday. So there really is two weeks from now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if they want to be yeah. there. And then, um, can you tell them maybe some of the times of different things that's, just, that's going to be going on? Sure. On you know, um, Friday, and the, the panel programming, the panels and workshops and things, they start about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And we have uh, opening big opening ceremonies event at 9 o'clock, and then we at 10 o'clock we start an evening of entertainment on that Friday. And the Saturday is a massive day. I mean, we start our day probably about 10 a.m., right. and I mean, it'll go all the way to midnight. I mean, and, and it's filled with... I mean, the, the vendor hall, I mean, everything runs concurrently, and if you go yeah. on our website, you can see, you know, I mean, you, there's more stuff to do than you possibly can do, <laughs> so you have to almost like look at our schedule and almost make your plan on what you want to do. Choose the yeah, things that yeah. you want to sit in Choose on. the thing, yeah, and yeah. so it's, a, it's quite a bit. And then Sunday will run from roughly about 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, so where can they go shorter. to get an actual scheduling of this? What is there a website? Is there a Facebook page? Where is the actual schedule for this that they can find easily? Yeah, if you find us on social media, on Twitter or Facebook or anything, we always have links going back to their website. Our website is entertheimaginarium.com. Enter the Enter the is the address and 
but if you find us on Facebook under Imaginarium Convention or Twitter or any any social right. media, I mean, you can always. I mean, we we, we have links to our sites everywhere on, right. the, on our social media. Everything so, crosses over so, nowadays. So, so so they can just link right into our site. Right. And we'll also, um, in addition to our site, um, uh, toward the event, we'll also go live with an event-based app that people can download on their phones, oh, and that, yeah. that, that schedule is kept up to date so people can actually navigate the convention using that phone app. Right. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is really neat because I know when I was younger, we had, I had friends that loved to write books, but they didn't know who to talk to, to to publish the book. They didn't know who to talk to as far as getting artwork done for a book, or even how they should the book should begin. They just knew they wanted to write a book and they wrote it, but they didn't have a beginning. You know, how do you start the book? And we had no one to go to. Well, and now you, you've got this. If you want to write a book or if you're thinking, do I really want to write this book? How involved is it going to be? You can go down here and ask them. You can find out how intense it is, people you need to talk to, artwork, whatever. Mm -hmm. it, it's there. So. And we give you all the options too, because I mean, there. I mean, we have a true mix of all types of publishing. Yes. We have people that are self-published. We yes. have people that are small press and independent press. I mean, one of our featured guests is Jason Sizemore, who runs Apex Book Company, which is one right. of the best independent presses in the nation. And uh, then you know, then you have people that are dealing with the major press. Uh, you know, editors and writers and people like that. Um, one of our imaginators, Elizabeth Beverly, is a New York Times best-selling romance author, oh, yeah. and so she, she knows how to deal with the, the major press. And I mean, right. you, yeah. So we've got people on all levels. Uh, so basically, no matter what your goal is with your book, I mean, you can find people that can talk right. to that. And it, it's not just the it's not just the publishers. You have all different artists. They oh, can yeah. design the book cover, or they can design the artwork inside the book, or just design your logo even. You know, they can go little or make it really huge. But it's just neat to have all that resource under one building. Oh, yes. For the weekend. Yeah, so. and, it's, and like I say, it's the environment is what it makes it so great because it's it's not, um, it's very inclusive. It's very welcoming. It's right. not stuffy. It's it's a kind of place where, yeah, people can sit down and talk and meet each other, and, right. and it's comfortable. Uh, so it's easy for people to connect and network. And so I that, noticed. that's one thing I've driven hard to develop. And we've right. If you look at our testimonials, I mean, I, th I think we've definitely achieved I, that. I think you have achieved that, yeah. I mm -hmm. noticed that the, uh, the last interview we did together, that any question that was asked during that day everybody was very helpful it didn't it didn't matter how big of a question it was if they had mm -hmm. to go do research for it they stopped and they went and looked it up or they answered the question and then the next person would come up and ask a question so it's it was very yeah. impressive to me that everybody took time for whoever was there mm -hmm. you know and so that's, that's the kind of world we have so yes yeah. And, and I think that's, that's what makes it successful. And we do work hard to get the right kinds of guests, the kinds of people that are approachable. Kind right. Of, yeah, very much so. Yeah, I think you all do that. So, well, Now, you. is there anything else we need to make sure they know before we send them out? Make sure they come well, to... I, I encourage people to try it out because everybody that tries it out just loves it and returns. Right. And so, um, you know, I, you know, you can you can get day passes. So if you only want to come yes. one day, you can get day passes. And um, I do advise people to pre-register because then they can uh, people that are registered can sign up for the for the really high end workshop slots. There are no oh, extra charges for yeah, that. Yeah. When you register, you can. Have, you, you have access to everything Imaginarium. There's nothing, no additional charges. So, now, what is the registration uh, fee? Our weekend registration for all three days is 65 Oh, my goodness. And, uh, and that covers not, the, And when you compare that to writers' conferences that charge two, three, four hundred dollars for registration, yes. and then you look at what we offer, I mean, yeah, it's the value is yes. amazing. So, yeah. um, and, you know, and you look at most larger conventions and stuff now, I mean, they're, they're all charging in that range, period, even for fan conventions. Yes, they are. But so, I think this one's a little different mm -hmm. because this is very dear to your all's heart. Everybody that's involved with this one, um, this is more of a passionate yes. type event because well, you're, it's all, a passion project. You're, yes, yeah. you're all passionate about it and you want to share that with people that are interested in the same thing. Absolutely. So yeah. I think that... And we, yeah, we we've been there where we, you know, needed somebody to go to or needed somebody to help us, and that, that's not been there. We understand what that's like, and yes. so this is our chance to help that and, process. And a chance yeah. to give back. Yeah, so, absolutely. That's great. So we try to make it as accessible as possible, and so and that's why we keep our our registrations on the lower scale, so uh, right. so people can can be there. Well, I hope you have a wonderful event. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. And thanks for being here. This is great. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, this is Debbie Crawford, and you need to check out this event and see if it's something you would be interested in. I think you'd enjoy it. So try to make it out. 
Thanks for watching.